Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 29th of April. I'm James Spann. We have a relative lull this morning. Another round of severe storms possible this afternoon and tonight. Let's go in there and take a look at the uh, big picture. And that clearly tells the story. This large upper low is going nowhere. It is parked over the Midwest. It is a stacked system, so the surface low is pretty much underneath that. The surface low is near Omaha. And the drier air is still well to the west of the state. So Alabama stays in a moist, unstable air mass today. Starting off the day in the 60s, for the most part, we'll expect a high in the low 80s. That was the radar at 5 o'clock this morning. Showers were still in progress over East Alabama. By the time you watch this, all of those should be over in Georgia. And the morning should be relatively quiet. All 67 Alabama counties with a flash flood watch. That's one of the threats that will continue as any additional heavy rain will create some flooding problems. Off to the east, that is a tornado watch until 11 o'clock Eastern time this morning. For parts of Georgia, southeast Alabama, and north Florida. That basically runs all the way from Panama City up to the Georgia mountains as those storms are exiting the southeastern corner of the state. But here comes our next round. We have a moderate risk of severe weather. That's the enhanced risk. Uh, this would include places like Birmingham, Cullman, Hamilton, Jasper, Fayette, Tuscaloosa, Demopolis, and then down to near Chatham in southwest Alabama. Surrounding that, a very large slight risk running all the way from the Gulf Coast up to Cleveland, Detroit, and Erie. These are the tornado probabilities. And within that moderate risk, the 15% uh, circle again includes pretty good chunk of uh, central and west Alabama. That means there's a 15% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of a given point. I think we'll check the severe weather parameters here in just a moment. This is the day two outlook, uh, the standard slight risk for the southeastern corner of the state. This is for tomorrow. And then uh, off to the east for much of the south Atlantic coast, all the way from uh, Jacksonville and Tallahassee up to Washington, D.C. Additional rain, thank goodness, uh, the Heavier rain totals will be east of here, but still additional rains of one to two inches are possible today and tonight. And accordingly, the flash flood watch remains in effect. Check the modeling. This is the GFS, the OZ run, valid today at 1 o'clock Central Time. There's the big upper low going nowhere. And, of course, uh, short waves rotate around that thing like spokes on a wheel. Uh, down below that at uh, 1 o'clock, things should be still relatively quiet. There's a chance the sun breaks out, much like yesterday, destabilizing the air. Of course, it was worked over a lot last night and early this morning. But we'll check the high-res NAM. This is 4 o'clock this afternoon, and you can see evidence of these discrete supercell-type storms developing again. And if they form in that zone, again, we could see all modes of severe weather, potential for large hail, damaging wind, maybe a few tornadoes. 8 o'clock tonight. Storms continue, and finally, by tomorrow morning at 10, drier air begins to work in. The dew points begin to drop. Uh, but again, like last night, it'll be a long night of weather watching. And that's uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow coming off the GFS. You can see the uh, drier air working into north and west Alabama. Instability. This is tonight at uh, 7. Numbers are not as high as yesterday, but certainly sufficient for severe weather. Instability values are about 1,000 to 2,000 joules per kilogram. Helicity values are not overwhelming, but certainly sufficient for all modes of severe weather. And the low-level jet, 30, 40, maybe a 50-knot max coming through there. So it's going to be pretty much like uh, yesterday and last night. We'll be watching for just about anything starting about 3 o'clock this afternoon. After that, let's talk about some good weather. What do you say? This is Thursday. Uh, the air will be drier. A little cooler, the high dropping back in the upper 60s. This is Friday. Uh, we start the day in the 40s. The high should be around 70. We note that plume of moisture just east of here. But we're thinking uh, that should stay east of where we are, places like maybe Auburn, Opelika, uh, Dothan. Could see uh, some, some clouds, maybe a few showers, but not here. Saturday, as we start the weekend, the pattern relaxes. 
down below that gorgeous day. It's race weekend at Talladega. The sky should be sunny. High will be around 80, and Sunday, low 80s. Just gorgeous weather for the race activities at the Super Speedway. And Monday of next week, a very dry air mass stays in place. But there later in the month, this is the 14th, the end of the forecast. Little evidence of a short wave through here and evidence of some rain at mid-month. But the good news, we don't see any sign of any severe weather issues in modeling for the next 15 days. And I think we've had enough of that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here. By probably tomorrow morning, we'll have active weather again, so just one edition per day. We'll begin the two-a-day schedule tomorrow. Can catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.